Hey everyone, this is FenderChick2010, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to convert an outfit to a different gauge without editing the mesh. So obviously you'll need Sims 2, Body Shop, and some sort of photo editing program. I'm going to use Photoshop Elements, but you can use Microsoft Paint, Paint Shop Pro, um, just something like that, whatever you use to edit photos. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go up to Create Parts, Start New Project, Create Clothing, and then we're going to choose an outfit. So I picked this one. Um, it, I skipped around because it takes me a long time to choose an outfit. So we're going to convert this adult outfit into a teen outfit. So now we are going to go to Export Selected Textures. And we're going to give it a name. I'm going to call it um, AF Blue Hoodie. And that's just, uh, I usually put AF in front of the adult female outfits just to keep everything organized. And so you hit the check. Wait for it, okay, and it will just go to cancel, and now we're going to choose a teen outfit, and the key is to choose an outfit with a similar mesh, so a similar shape, like in this case something with flare jeans I think would work best, and so I picked this outfit because overall the shape of it is pretty similar, and so it should come out looking pretty good once we convert it. And so now we're going to do the same thing, export selected textures. Give it a name, I'm just going to call it TF Blue Hoodie, because this will be the teen version. So now we're going to find the necessary files so that we can open our photo editing program. If you're on a Mac, your screen will look like mine, but if you're on a PC, you'll go to My Documents, EA Games, The Sims 2, and then Projects. So we're just going to go to our Projects folder. And it's right here for me. And you're going to open up the adult file, which is AF Blue Hoodie in this case. And you're going to open up the black and white file and the colored file. So um, the black and white file is an alpha, and the colored file is the texture of your outfit. And basically with the alpha, you don't really need to know this for this particular project. Um, everything that's in white is what shows up, and everything that's in black is what won't show up. So we don't really need to know that for this one, but yeah just for future reference. So um, you open your photo editing program. And as you can see, this is our uh, texture file right here. Um, it's got the texture of the outfit basically, and this is our alpha. So now um, we're gonna go and do the same thing for the teen version. So it will still be in our projects folder, but we'll just find the TF Blue Hoodie file and open up the same to the alpha and the texture. So we're just going to do the exact same thing. Okay, and I promise this part's really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the adult alpha, and you're going to select the entire image. In this case, I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool. It might be different for the program you're using, but you're just going to select the entire image, and then you're going to take... I'm going to use the move tool, but whichever way you need to do it, you're going to move the adult alpha file onto the teen one, just like I did. And make sure it snaps into place. I know in Photoshop it does automatically, but just make sure everything lines up and it snaps into place. And then you'll go to File, Save As. Don't do Save, just do Save As. And then you're going to save it as a BMP file. Um, not a Photoshop file, not a JPEG, not a PNG. Make sure it's a BMP. And as you can see up here, it might try to save as a copy. Um, you want it to completely overwrite the alpha, so you're just going to click on it so it overwrites. And then you're going to save it. And then it might ask if you want to replace it. Yes, you want to replace it. Okay, and now we're going to do the exact same thing with the texture file. So we're going to go to our adult texture file, um, select the entire image, and then we're going to drag and drop it onto the teen file. So you do that and then just make sure everything's lined up and it snaps into place. And then you're going to go to File, Save As. Save as a BMP just like you did last time. I'll make sure it overwrites, doesn't save as a copy. Save it. And now we're going to open up Body Shop and we're going to refresh the preview set. 
when the outfit should now be in your game. As long as you use a mesh that's pretty similar to the adult one, then it should come out just about perfect. It doesn't always come out perfectly, but as you can see in this case it works, so it's kind of a trial and error thing. So um, this, this part's optional, um, I'm just going to give it a tooltip, I'm just going to call it PPL, because um, it's originally by Poison Peak Lemons, converted by Blissful Indigo, and that's just to identify who made it. So now we're just going to double check to make sure our outfit is where it's supposed to be. So we're just going to go to the teen outfits, then every day, and it should be first thing on the list. Yep, it's right there. So if you did everything correctly, the outfit should now be in your game. So for this last part of the tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to get your new outfit out of your saved sims folder and into your downloads folder. Now when you make anything in Body Shop, it goes into your saved sims folder. So I'm just going to put it in the downloads folder to keep everything organized. So what you're going to do is just navigate out of your projects folder and into your saved sims folder. So the whole name is just my documents, EA games, the sims 2, and then saved sims. So we'll go in there and then you'll find the file that we just made. So it'll be right here, TF blue hoodie and body shop generates a random like, number combination in front of it. Um, we don't need that. We're going to delete it in just a second. So I'm just going to drag that to the desktop. And then I'm just going to go to my downloads folder. And then I have a folder that I made, it's called CC I made, and it's for all the custom content that I've made. So I'm just going to drag that in there. I'm going to rename it and get rid of that letter number combination because I just think it's weird. So you can just drag it into a subfolder if you like, and that's it.